All right, in this module, we'll tidy up a few things that we still haven't talked about, about changing your text format. And once again, we'll go up to the font dialog box here and deal with a line of text that we have selected here. So I've just typed in a very simple sentence, welcome to chapter four. Again, you can select that text and use this floating palette to make several formatting changes, as you've seen before. Also go up to the font. So if you want to, for example, do a strike through. Now this is something that you were not able to see on the live preview for whatever reason. Uh, we'll have to ask Microsoft about that one. But if you want to do strike through, for example, you can just one click and do a strike through to undo it. It's a toggle switch. And also what's nice is that the button remains lit up so you can actually see what formatting you've applied visually. You have a cue anyway. Uh, if you want to do a subscript, if you want to do a superscript, you have that option as well. If you want to increase the font incrementally, you have this grow option and shrink option to shrink font and increase the font size. And notice that the font size is reflected in the font size drop down menu here. You also have, as mentioned, the font dialog box. You can click this little button or do a control D to open up this dialog box and have other options such as a shadow and then OK. Again, you get a nice little preview of what it's going to look like before you make the change effective. So OK makes the change effective. You can do an outline emboss. So that's what emboss would look like or engrave. Notice that these things are sometimes mutually exclusive. So I can't do a shadow and that emboss or engrave at the same time. And then of course you can change your character spacing as well. Font style, regular, bold italic, and bold italic. So make a selection. We'll go back and show you the character spacing. It's here. The scale, 100% again, is the default. You can change to a lower size or a lower percentage, and that's going to, sh to scrunch the text together. A bigger number would expand the text apart. Your position and spacing, as I go back once again, your position and spacing are again fairly self-explanatory. So if I go to 100% and then make the spacing expanded by 1 point or 1.1 points or 1, 2 or 1, 3, it's going to add additional space in between the individual letters of my word or my paragraph or my sentence.